everybody and welcome back to another episode of the points of articulation my name's dave and if you're new to the channel welcome everybody before i begin a quick announcement at the end of this review i do have a special thing i want to share with everybody so please stick around i'm sure some of you are gonna like it so having said that let's get back to the review Today I'm looking at the Hot Wheels Star Wars The Child Hover Pram, released in 2020. This vessel, if we want to call it that, was first seen in Star Wars The Mandalorian Season 1, and oh, I love The Mandalorian. I think it's a great show, I know I'm not alone, but I know there's some people that don't like it also. I cannot wait for Season 3, The Book of Boba Fett. Currently I'm getting my Star Wars fix with The Bad Batch. I think it's pretty good. If you've seen The Bad Batch, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I always love to hear from you guys. So moving on, let's get to the main attraction here. Everybody's been messaging me, asking when I'm coming back from grad school to review this bad boy. One, grad school's over for now. I got three A's. Woot, woot. <laughs> moving on, I'm going to review this bad boy. I love the child. I think it's a great character. So let's get to it. Hot Wheels did a very interesting job with this particular piece. Uh, Detail-wise, it's pretty good. We're going to see that when I get a nice close-up. But what's very interesting is the size. Normally, these ships are about two and something or three and something inches long. This particular piece is about one and a half inches long, which is very, very short. And the actual vessel, if we want to call it that, is not the only thing that's short. Look at the stand. A little stubby stand, which is kind of funny in a way. But really interesting. I think they did a nice job, though. Now, if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a nice look at the mold, go over the main points, then zoom in, see all the fine details, you know, what we're really buying. Then we're going to take a look at the paint, put it on a stand, compare it to some other pieces, such as some other Hot Wheels vessels. And after the size comparison, we'll be done. So you know what, let's get started. So let's kick this video off looking at the mold. Like in all my videos, I will go over all the major sections of the vessel, and then we'll get a nice close-up look to see the fine details. So kicking things off, right at the top, we have our cover for the pram. Now sadly, this is a static piece, nothing moves. So you can see this is plastic. And the whole base is die cast, which is pretty cool. I like that quite a bit. We have our hinges on the sides. Nicely done. A blanket on the interior. Grogu right there looking great. Some beautiful details on him. Nice. We have our controls in the front. Some nice details going around the sides. And on the bottom, we have two rivets holding it together. Peg port for the stand, and copyright crap. All in all, a nice little piece. So let's get a close-up look and see what this really has to offer. And now having a closer look, we'll begin with the bottom section. We have two rivets, connect the port for the stand, copyright crap, and our number, and a little dab of dried paint. All in all, it's very nice, very smooth, due to the nice paint that they use. Now one thing about the paint is, it sort of covers up all the fine details here. As we can see on the left and right hand sides, we have these raised sections that drop down and a recess in the back. Now, maybe some of you can see it, but these are almost invisible due to the paint and how it rounds off all the details. As you can see up here, everything's rounded. And even with the control panel, Everything is rounded off, even though we can make out about four different little recesses for the buttons. Pretty neat. But anywho, the bottom looks pretty good. Not going to knock it. Coming to the aft section, you can see a little lip here. Looking good. And then we have our plastic hood or cover part. Sadly, this is a static model. It doesn't move. I wish it could uh, fold up. But what are you going to do? You can see some nice recess in here. Pretty cool line work as well. And it looks like it could telescope in and out, but again, it doesn't. Two little latches here. Pretty cool. And the interior of that on the top, it's just a little part number there. 
And that's it. It's just smooth. All in all, pretty nice. Could have been a lot worse, but not bad. Moving on to the rest of the pram, we have our hinges, which look pretty good. We have a little raised section right here above my thumb and recess right there. Looking pretty cool. I like that quite a bit. Very sharp. And then coming to the front, we have this nice lip with a recess here. Our control panel on the front, which is nicely raised and then recessed with our buttons. Rest of the lip and another recess. For the interior, we do have some nice metallic gray there for the interior of the hinge. Looking good, especially on this side. Very sharp. Then we have this, uh, I would say orange red plastic, which goes all the way in the back here and it's very smooth, not really any detail. And then we have detail right here with these little nibs. And that goes all the way to the front and around. Looking pretty cool, I will admit. Nice. And finally, we have the interior. First of all, with this cool looking blanket. Nice folds and wrinkles in there. Looking very sharp. Nothing is flat in there, which is cool. And then the moment some of us have been waiting for, the child. So the child has a lot going for it. Uh, first of all, the shape, in my opinion, looks pretty good. We have the eyes, nose, mouth, little chin and cheeks down there, which looks amazing. The ears are nicely done. As you can tell, it's like a rubbery plastic. You know, God forbid anything pointy hurts the kitties. But what are you going to do, right? We have his hands, which you can see some minor details on there. Nothing to write home about, but they are there. Looking good. And uh, the actual head and face of Grogu does have a lot of detail in Except it's all rounded off. You can see the little slight different uh, angles on the head. See, we can see his uh, brow here. Again, all the details are there. They're just very, very small. So I guess they did what they thought, you know, they could get away with and then that's it. But it looks good nonetheless. What I really love is his jacket here. You can see the beautiful texture on here. Pretty collar and the cuffs. And then it's smooth for the rest of the uh, arms. But very nice. I think that came out great. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. It's even detailed on the interiors as well. Nice. And that's everything I have to say about the mold. Hopefully I covered everything. It may be small, but it does have a lot going for it. So now let's talk about the paint. And now looking at the paint of the Hot Wheels Star Wars The Child in its Hover Pram, this bad boy features about seven different colors. So let's get started. The main color here is a nice off-white, almost an extremely light gray, which looks pretty good in my opinion. I like it. You can see it's on the interior too. The plastic and the die cast, they almost match perfectly. It's only when the light hits it that you see a difference. But all in all, nicely done. Moving on from there, we do have this red-orange, which is pretty cool. It reminds me of the Rebellion. I don't know. Just that used, worn look they did here. I love that effect. To me, it always screams like snow speeders or something like that. Now, in the interior, it's mostly the same shade, just a little lighter. You can see it on the rim here and in the interior which is pretty cool. Moving on, we do have some metallic gray for the hinges right here and here. We have brown for this blanket and also Grogu. You can see the nice light brown for his jacket, looking good. Green for his fingers and head, which looks amazing. Black for his eyes, which is glossy and pink for the ears. All in all, a fantastic job for something so small. Beautiful. So that does it for the mold as well as the paints. Now let's put this baby back on the stand compared to some other pieces and then we'll be done. 
And just like other Hot Wheels vessels, it does come with a cool translucent stand. We can see this one has the Mudhorn symbol for the Clan of Two. Looking pretty cool. Right here, we have a very short pylon. Now, to connect these, you're going to take the stand and peg it right here into the stand port. And when you do that, you're going to hear a nice loud click. And just like that, everybody, you are good to go. All right, for our size comparison section with the Hot Wheels Star Wars The Child and the Hover Pram seen in the center, first on the right hand side, we have the Hot Wheels Star Wars Havoc Marauder. This bad boy was seen in the Clone Wars and also the Bad Batch, and I have to admit, I'm a big fan of the uh, Lambda shuttle design, the Imperial shuttles that the wings fold up, and this is pretty cool. I do like the design, it's very predatory looking. I dig it. And then on the left hand side, we have the Hot Wheels Star Wars Mandalorian Razor Crest, which is a fan favorite. Now, looking at these, I would say the Razor Crest and the Havoc Marauder or about the normal size we would see, or an in-between of such. And you can see how, together with the child, it's about half the size of a normal Hot Wheels vessel. So, pretty interesting stuff. But, they're all cool nonetheless. And for an added bonus size comparison with the Hot Wheels Star Wars The Child Hover Pram seen in the center, first, on the left-hand side, we have the Season 2 Hover Pram, which was released for the Mission Fleet line. And you can see it's a little bigger than our pram here, but pretty cool nonetheless. And finally, on the right-hand side, we have the three and three-quarter inch Vintage Collection Boba Fett. Now, why do I have a Vintage Collection figure on here? Well, that's because it was brought to my attention during my hiatus that the three and three-quarter inch line actually goes well with the Hot Wheels Star Wars The Child. And you can see these sizes are pretty spot on. Pretty awesome, right? It may not be exactly to scale, but it's pretty close. And I do think they look great together. And that does it today for my review of the Hot Wheels Star Wars The Child Hover Pram released in 2020. Now, I have to admit, the first time I saw this, uh, as soon as I opened the package and saw the size, I was like, oh, geez, Hot Wheels, you did it this time. And at first, I was let down. Looking at it close up, having it in hand, and seeing the fine details, I really have a, a lot of respect for this particular piece. It may be small, but it does have a lot going for it. As we saw when I zoomed in, the hover pram, yes, it does have mold in. Sure, it's sort of rounded because of the paint, but it's still all there from the controls to the hinges to the cover. It looks great for what it is. Also, we have the blanket, the little ridge section uh, in the interior of the orange piece. That looks great. And also Grogu, the child. I think they did an amazing job with this particular piece with the child alone. You know, the jacket looks great. The shape is there. The hands, the ears, the face. I think they did an amazing job. And just look at the photo in front of you. I know I'm filming this, staring at it through my phone here. And it looks great. Now, moving on to the paint, I like it. I do think they should have used a darker palette. But that's just my opinion because I'm a stickler for, you know, accuracy in the show. It was used. It was dirty and worn. This looks just like they bought it right off a conveyor belt. Uh, yes, they did try to make it look used and... You know, a little dirty with that roughed up orange red paint going around the side. So I got to give them at least a little credit for that. But where I think this vehicle really shines is with the paint application to the child. You could see the green, which sort of looks like a translucent element to it. I don't know. It's really weird. I can't really put my finger on it. But then we have the jacket the pink in the ears, the glossy black for the eyes, and I think it works perfectly. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Now, moving on, it wouldn't be a Hot Wheels ship without some sort of stand, and I think they did a very good job with this one. We have a cool stand base with a mud horn on it. You couldn't have asked for a better symbol. I think that looks great. Uh, it also has a very short pylon as well. Uh, I know some people might have an issue with that with their collection, but if you get multiple ships, you could just swap it out with a larger pylon if you really want to, so it raises up and meets the same level as all your other ships. But on the whole, 
they gave us a stand it blends with the rest of the collection and i'm all about that so good job and that's all i have to say today about the assets hover pram if you enjoyed this video smash that like button and if you'd like to see new videos every thursday subscribe again for all of you out there thank you for sticking with me and thank you very much for watching my content and taking time out of your busy schedule to do so. It means a lot to me, and I hope to keep making more content for you guys to enjoy. So thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Hey everybody, it's me, Dave, and my special message today is that if you enjoyed this Grogu review, or the child, whatever you want to call it, I'm actually giving away an unopened package of the whole wave that Grogu comes in. So all you have to do to win this bad boy, unopened, is just tell me who your favorite Star Wars character is. That's it, and I don't care where you live. You could come from England, Singapore, or Italy, or anywhere! So just leave your favorite character in the comments, and you might be a winner. Bye, everybody.